How's it going everyone? So it's been almost a year now since I picked up this camera last and tried making the video. Um, and honestly, it's been pretty refreshing over the last year to not worry about filming at all. And just I've been doing a lot of fishing, just no filming. And uh, the main reason for that is just because fishing is my biggest hobby. It's really my only thing I'm super passionate about that I've found so far in my life. And I love doing it, but filming, you know, I love filming as well, but it's not something I'm quite as passionate about. It's cool, it's cool to make videos, but it's a lot of work. And when you're combining a lot of work with something you really love doing, sometimes that kind of takes a little bit of the fun out of the you know, fishing part for me. Um, so with that being said, that's kind of my explanation in short for why I you know, kind of took a year off fishing or filming for you guys. Um, but with that being said though, huge thanks to everyone who's reached out to me over the last year or so, you know, asking why I'm not making any more videos or, you know, even just asking if I'm okay. It really means a lot to me and kind of encouraged me to make more videos for you guys. Um, so today this video is going to be filmed, or it was already filmed a couple weeks back. Uh, me and my buddy Anthony went out wading the river, caught some nice pike, lots of pike, and uh, hopefully made a cool little video for you guys. We're going to try to work on some cool camera angles this year. Maybe, you know, switch it up from the GoPro and get some better angles a little bit. So let me know what you guys think of that. Um, but with that being said, enough talking. Let's get right into the video and hopefully you guys enjoy it. There's a little guy. First cast in that little timber area, pulled a tiny little snake out. This is my third fish, first one on camera, because I've been having uh, camera troubles. You don't film for a year and you kind of forget a few things. Not a, well, kind of a bad little first fish, but I'll take it. Oh, 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 stop, 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 stop. Little squeaker, hopefully we can upgrade. That'd be sweet. One. Another PB. Yeah, oh, she's below. Yeah, really? Yep. I'm gonna get it. That's sick. I've never seen Pike follow. Come on. Come on. Hopefully, I didn't hit the camera too much on that one. I have so many cords connected to this thing now. <laughs> Hooks that might have been a little weak there, but we got another fish. Again, nothing we're really trying to show off too much here. Just little Pike. Looking for the 30 pluses. Uh, that's how I kind of think of it. It could be. Oh! oh. We'll see if he hits this again. He came out and just ambushed it right from that grass. It wasn't there with the hook set. He might not want it again. Yeah, I'll throw one more time in there with this. Oh! There we go. That's a nice fish. Heck yeah! Feet, oh, please don't come off, baby. That's not a bad little fish. Probably close, pushing 30 inches. That was crazy. I don't know if that was the same fish or not, but he just came out of nowhere and uh, smacked that spinnerbait right at my feet. Heck yeah. About time we get a good fish here. I'm trying to lose her here. Nice. Oh, spinnerbait came out right there. Hey, don't hurt yourself, girl. I don't want to hurt this fish. I just cut it. I just cut it. Again. Okay. I'll keep my camera going in case she takes off. You ready? Come up. Oh. oh, and she's gone. I got good video and a picture. It's more important to take care of those fish, hold them in the water. They're going to be charged up and that happens. It sucks, but I'd rather that than holding her out of the water, having her rip her gills half apart and stuff like that. A little painful, but I think you guys hopefully saw her well enough there. Keep walking, got a little more to go, and I'll hopefully get a few more like that. Let's see if we can get this girl. Oh my god, I got her. Let's go. Slipped out of my hands. Let's go though, baby. Not a bad fish. Come here, girl. Man, these fish are real feisty these time of year. Their water's still cold. They just want to go. So like Josh said earlier in the camera, 
unhook them, get them back in the river as quick as possible. So that's what we're gonna do. Unhooked, nice, probably upper upper 20s, probably not, not quite 30, but still a great fish. Let's get her back in the water. Heck yeah, thank you baby. He'll come back and hook that one. Nah, I grab my fly. There we go. Yep. Not too big, but no. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Let's Hopefully, go. it turned out cool on the camera. He choked that. Let's go. I'm gonna say he choked the streamer. He choked that little spinner bait there. Not bad. He won. It missed him the first time. Slowed down a little bit the second time. We got him. Some spawning marks or turtle marks. Something. Not bad little pike though. I'll take it. Choke that spinner bait. Kind of hanging on to. All right, ready? Yep. Going. Quick little look at it. Nothing very big, but unfortunately one of our bigger ones today besides the last one. But hey, I'll take it. Fish is a fish. Gotta love them. There we go. Didn't see him. I think it's a decent fish. Um, never mind. No, he's not. Nope. Yep. Oh, cool little jump from there. Nice. I'll take it. We've been going a little while without fish, and uh, now we're working the opposite sides of the bank here. Anthony's over across over there, and we got our first little fish here for this little spot. Really good little section we're on right now, but we haven't seen many fish in this little small area. But man, this one choked the spinner bait. There we go. I'll take it. Nice little guy. About the cookie cutter for around here. Lots of smaller fish around this river, but there are some bigger ones, and that's what we're looking for, obviously. So, hey, I'll take it. The action is much appreciated. Oh, there we go. Got him. And he got me. Nice. Well, he got his little revenge on me there, but hey, nice little pike. Get it back. Try to get some more. Well, as you can see, my hand started really gushing there, so I had to cross the bank. Thankfully, Anthony brought some gauze and some bandages, so we're, we're bandaged back up, stopping the bleeding a little bit, and now we're going to keep fishing, hopefully get a few more there. Be a little awkward hook sets now with my hand, but we'll make it work. Well, we're coming up to the end of our stretch here, and I'm pretty happy with how it went overall. We caught lots of small fish as usual. We did get a few fish in that 30-inch range, maybe a little below 30 inches. But anytime in these small rivers, you can catch pike around 30 inches or up. Uh, that's always great in my opinion. So uh, I've been throwing the spinner bait the whole time. Anthony's been throwing the fly a little bit. And really anything you can get in front of these pike, they're going to grab usually. Um, the main thing I want to mention, uh, I will also do my rod and reel. I always try to list that in the description below for you guys. But the main thing when you're pike fishing, you will always want to throw some kind of leader. Uh, I have used heavy fluorocarbon. I've used 50-pound fluorocarbon. And I've broken off several pike on 50-pound fluorocarbon. And some people go up to 80 and you can I mean that's obviously gonna be more durable but if you're breaking them off on 50 pound fluorocarbon once you get up to 80 pounds and stuff I just feel like it's just as bulky it's just as visible as this wire and I know for sure wire will not break fluorocarbon I think you're always running a slight chance of breaking off a fish especially I mean bigger fish I feel like you're gonna have more chances of breaking off on your fluorocarbon and of course you don't want to break off this big fish so wire in my opinion is king you always want to throw wire in my opinion especially because as you can see <laughs> those pike have some teeth I got cut up by the last one pretty good and you want be careful for one you don't want to leave lures in their mouth that can kill them but also you want to land those fish but yeah hopefully we can get one or two more fish either way if not it's been a great day and uh thanks for coming along with me guys well hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it was a good one to come back with um anthony and i tried pretty hard on this video to get some cool shots of the pike you know some closer up shots with a nice camera of the pike grabbing the lure and things like that you know trying to switch it up from just the normal gopro angles so if you guys like that or didn't like it definitely let me know in the comments below i really appreciate all that feedback um, hopefully I can get some more content out this summer. I'll definitely get some more videos out this summer, but I can't guarantee, you know, like weekly uploads or anything like that. 
Um, either way, we'll see. Hoping to make some cool trips. You know, just get some cool videos for you guys, some different videos and some different camera angles for sure. So, either way, enough talking, guys. Thanks for sticking around, especially after this year gap. I really appreciate it. And uh, so, thanks for watching. And of course, I will hopefully see you guys again soon.